Hello YouTube, welcome back to this video series on database handling. Today in this video we will be seeing about triggers and functions. And so let us get started. <coughs> so to get started with, we should know what a trigger is. A trigger is basically, as the name suggests, it is something that is going to automatically happen when one of these uh, three events is going to occur. So you can create, an, uh, you can create a tr trigger that will happen before or after an insert, before or after an update, and before or after a delete function. So this is the basic syntax for creating a trigger. So create trigger followed by trigger, trigger name followed by if it is a before an update or an after an update and the condition when it should happen actually. And uh, this on is the table on which this trigger is going to be active. And for each row means that it is going to be active for every row that is being inserted or deleted or updated. And uh, begin is the beginning of the trigger code and end is the end of the trigger code. You can use functions, uh, you can use if conditions, while loops, for loops inside this uh, uh, in that inside this code over here and uh, we'll be seeing about that later and so next what is a function so a function is basically a, uh, it, it's the same thing that you're going to see that we have seen in uh, programming languages like C, C++ or PHP or something like that so uh, it is basically the same thing you can create a function that is going to have a return type uh, and uh, the function can take in parameters and it is a, basically the same syntax create function followed by the function name and within these brackets you're going to uh, specify the pa uh, parameters and uh, this is the return type begin and end within which you'll have the code so now uh, let us uh, directly uh, jump into the examples and see how it actually works <coughs> and so let me open up my terminal and make it a little big so my skill have a new root hyphen p so in this video i'm going to use this uh, database name tree and uh, let me show you the tables in this Sorry about that. So use tree and show tables. And so so this is the employee table in this, and that has the same record. Okay, so now let us dive into creating a uh, trigger. So what I'm going to do now is uh, I'm going to create a new table for the purpose of explaining the function of a trigger create table and that is going to be a sample table and that will have uh, uh, maybe in an id that's going to be the primary key and a age field and an adult field if it is uh, above 18 it's going to be 1 and if it is below 18 it's going to be 0 So now we have created the table, you can see it for yourself, it's name sample. And so uh, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to create a trigger that is like going to automatically be triggered after before every insert function. So whenever a user inserts a particular value, the trigger will be activated and it will see if the age value is greater than 18. If the age value is greater than 18, then it is going to set the adult value to be 1. And if it is less than 18, it is going to set the adult value to be 0. So let us create the trigger. So create trigger. I'm going to name the trigger as uh, maybe adult underscore check and this is going to uh, fire up before an insert function so before an insert meaning that after the insert function you after you write the insert uh, query and before it is being inserted into the table so between this time uh, between this it is going it is going to fire the trigger so before an insert on the table uh, named employee and for each row and before this, what I'm, uh, what I'm actually have to do is, uh, I can see that this uh, semicolon over here is going to end this query. So uh, within this uh, code in this uh, in, in a trigger, you're going to use you're going to have to use semicolons for if conditions for uh, for representing the end of if conditions. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to change change the delimiter. So uh, I can change the delimiter by using this query. So delimiter slash slash. This would mean that instead of this semicolon. Uh, this uh, thing over here is going to represent the end of a query in MySQL. So that is basically it. So you can see that select all from employee. This uh, semicolon is not going to work. It is going to wait for the next line. If you use this double slashes, it's going to just return the value. So this is about the delimiter function. So now let us get back to creating a trigger. So create a trigger. And we're going to name that as adult underscore check. And it should be fired before an insert and uh, it should be on the table that we just created and that is named sample and it should be for each row and begin 
so uh, there is something called as a new and old operator for a trigger so a new operator would mean that if you're going to use new dot age or new dot adult or new dot name it would mean that the new value that will be present in that particular field after uh, that is going to be happening after the trigger event is going to have occur so and the old value would mean that the the value that was in that particular field before the trigger has occurred so let me just demonstrate that so if new dot age if the new value for the trigger is going to be a uh, new value for the age is going to be greater than 18 then what i'm going to do is i'm just going to set the new value of adult to be equal to one else i'm going to set the new dot adult value to be equal to zero so this makes sense right so the new and the old values just like that and and if so this is like the basic syntax for mysql coding you can just check about the syntax on the net and uh, end of the trigger yes that is it so the trigger has been created so what i'm now going to do is uh, let me just show you the content of the table it is going to be empty so at all from sample so it is currently oh, oh my god so what happens now is you can see that uh, the delimiter has changed to slash slash so you have to use slash slash for uh, checking the for running a query for ending a query actually okay so you can now see that the uh, table is empty for now so i'm just going to go ahead and insert a value insert into sample and the values will be null for the id and i'm just going to uh, insert an age value so let it let it be 12 and uh, actually that is not going to happen so uh, id and age okay so you can see that one row has been affected and let us just see what happened select all from sample uh, just making a lot of mistakes today. Mm, sorry about that. So you can see that the values that we inserted here, the age is 12, and you can see that the adult value has automatically become zero. Uh, let us also insert another value that is greater than 18. Insert into sample id comma age values will be null and 22 maybe okay so it has been inserted and uh, let's just check it out so here you can see that the adult value is one over here so the trigger works perfectly and it is the same thing for after insert after update before update before delete after delete also so you can just uh, check it out on the web that is pretty simple that is pretty pretty much the same thing so now uh, let us move on to functions so uh, functions the, the good thing about function is it can take parameters it can return values it can do basically uh, the everything that you have done with functions in uh, programming languages so now uh, we're going to create a function and what we're going to do is uh, let us just take the sample of the uh, employee table example of the employee table select all from employee uh, i'm sorry about that So now uh, let us take the example of an employee table and uh, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to create a function that is going to insert the value into this employee table only if the salary is above a particular limit maybe 10,000. So let us create a function for that. So create function and let us name this function as uh, salary check salary underscore check and it is going to take in three parameters name company and salary name that is going to be a varchar so this is how you declare the variables the parameters over here uh, it should be name it should be the name of the parameter followed by the data type so name varchar and company is also a varchar and then salary that is an integer of maybe 10 digits and uh, it should return a text uh, it should be returning a text saying that it is inserted or not inserted so it should return a text and before that i should actually change the delimiter sorry so create a function salary underscore check with the parameters name varchar of 20 and company that is also varchar of 20 and salary and that will be an integer of 10 yes that is it and uh, yes that will be returning a text returns a text and we're going to begin it begin so we're going to check if the salary is greater than 10,000 if salary is greater than 10,000 
then I'm just going to insert the value insert into employee ID name company salary yes that is it so this is the way to insert the value insert an employee ID name company salary followed by the values and uh, and I'm going to return successfully inserted and uh, else return sorry your salary is not cool enough Just some random text okay fine so that is it I'm just going to use the end if and yes so the function is created so you can see that uh, I'm just going to pass call the function passing in this name company and the salary and if it is about 10,000 it is just going to insert the value and if it is below 10,000 it is not going to insert the value and uh, to actually uh, display the text over here we're going to use the select query so we have to select so that will just display the values of the return of this particular function and uh, select salary check and I'm just going to pass in the values maybe Ramesh looking at Google as a salary of 50,000 so I don't need to, yes you can see that it has been successfully inserted uh, let me just show you the content of the table so I'll call from employee so yes Ramesh has been inserted who also Google 50,000 salary and uh, let us try for the negative case select salary check and that will be uh, Rahul works at some ABC has a salary of 1000 so you can see that uh, the message is being displayed and the salary and the record is not inserted and you can see the content of the table too it is not inserted so yes that is it about this video and in the following videos we'll be seeing about a particular database called as firebase that is an online database that you can use it for uh, real-time content management and uh, we'll see a lot more about that stuff in the following videos so that is it about mysql in this particular series and uh, thank you for watching this video and uh, stay tuned for more videos on this series